guys, today we are doing an experiment from the National Geographic Mega Science Series Stunning Science Chemistry Set. And that, uh, guys, there is our experiment today. So what to do is measure 40 milliliters of water in a beaker. Is that 30? Yep. Alright. <clears throat> Where? Pour it in the test tube. Okay. One big scoop of baking soda. Ooh, right here. And we need to level that. Oh, it's so smooth. I like baking soda. <laughs> yeah, that's not the chunky one. If you see, it's kind of sparkly. Hmm? Into here? Into, yep, into the water. Stir it until it's dissolved or however you want to do that. You know how? Well, stir for me is this. I think that's dissolved. Got it. Oh, that's good enough because. Ah, uh, okay, that's, that's pretty good then. It's hissing. So, what is our next step? Oh, it's hissing at me. A scoop of. Oh, a drop of dish soap. You're gonna add a drop to the test tube. Just a drop. Okay, your, and do not insert the, do not shake it either. Do not? No, just to add one drop if possible. <laughs> you may have to help me with this. I don't know, try to do. So it's plugged up. Yeah, it is kind of up. <laughs> this time it definitely is plugged, I think. <gasps> well, okay, so that's going to be okay, adequate. It's not plugged. It's not plugged. Apparently not. Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know, but put that over plugged. there. And then Do it says, think... insert your rubber stopper gent. No, it says, and seal tightly. So <laughs> insert it and seal it. Make sure it is tight in there. Because if it's not... Uh oh it's almost... Uh, oh, oh dear, in. you might have done it a little hard. Mm, okay, I don't know. Without ruining it. Okay, so anyway, we'll worry about that later. So it says, cover the hole in the stopper with your thumb and swirl the tube. Swirl it, not oh, shake what? it. Swirl it to mix the solution, because you don't want all kinds of bubbles, I think. They want it mixed, but not bubbly. In other words, if you shake it, you're going to get all kinds of bubbles. Like that? Ooh, mm. there's bubbles for me. Yeah, That's it's it's good. good. That's probably good. <laughs> now you're going to measure 30 milliliters of water in the beaker, of course. Milliliters? Again. Of course. So now... Well, I'm just going to overflow. So with the erupt like a geyser, or erupt a geyser, just like volcanoes, geysers rely on the heated liquid rock called magma. When water seeps into the ground, it sometimes pools in places where magma has nearly reached the Earth's surface. The magma heats the surrounding rocks and the water begins to boil. The boiling water builds up pressure until it finds cracks in the ground and then it gushes out in a powerful burst in fact, the word geyser comes from the Icelandic word for gush. Wait, uh, it says, um, then you're going to add one medium scoop of citric acid to the beaker, in other words, I believe, and say that. Yep, yeah, into the water. 
On medium, though. Or did I mean this water? No. <laughs> medium. Is that not the large side? And it's wet. Oh, so it's a chemical reaction of like baking soda and vinegar, but baking soda and citric acid. Correct. And of course, bubbles from the. Okay, oh. so are we ready? If we put like. See if you can. Mm, wait. Do you need me to help level? I can. I think you got it. Okay. No. 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 Yes. Well. Let's see if we can do a better no. job. Not waste it. Uh, you have to help the smoothie. Citric acid is harder to come by, I think, than baking soda would be. Yeah, definitely. That's that's gonna that's fine. That is... Into the baker. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I am positive. Okay. Okay, now then you start it. to dissolve and you can I don't know, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. I'm poking it to Mix it. May make it smaller, then it will dissolve quicker. Okay. So it's still dissolving. No. We're going to fill the syringe with that solution in there, and I don't know. It's still stirring. It's still stirring. Okay, so this is what you need to do. When you first suck some up, there's gonna be a little bit of air in there so you can spit it back out into the water and fill it up again and then it shouldn't have air. So fill it up in other words, fill it. Hmm, with that, okay, yeah, depress that. It well, doesn't say, it just says, fill the syringe with the acidic solution. Insert the top tip of the syringe into the hole of the rubber stopper, which is right there, which you can barely see. There we go. Hold it up. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll put it there. It's gonna explode. Um, well, okay, so here's what it says. Wait, let's, it says, just let me read this for a second. You're gonna push it in hard to make sure there's an airtight seal, right, when you do that. So with one hand, it says hold the rubber stopper down with your thumb, then slowly push down the plunger of the syringe to inject the acidic solution into the test tube. Once you feel pressure building, oh dear, that's gonna be hard. You got it that's in? Gonna... Can you do that? Okay, Once you feel pressure building, it says. Pressure um... building! <gasps> what? Pushing back quickly, pull the syringe out of the rubber stopper. Pull it, pull it, pull it! <laughs> Why'd you do that? Or the whole thing came out. Uh... Well, it failed. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. see about. Just be careful. Is it hard for you to. Maybe right here? Well, Can you do it right there? Yeah, I will. Really? I'll just hold this. You're responsible for pulling it out when you feel the pressure build and everything. And I'll oh just, my. uh... Oh, my. Oh, my. the pressure it just shot the rubber stopper <laughs> off and everything yeah, I, I do too yeah. yes <laughs> it landed in here we have water oh good at least didn't shoot off like a rocket and hit the so that was uh our geyser twice we i'm gonna show both of those shots we recreated the experiment the second time to see if it would not totally just Explode shoot the wait, wait. stopper off. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's so exploded. Oh. It exploded still. You can put this. Uh, yeah, you can add more. Oh, we don't have much more. Oh, no. Look at the reaction. Need more baking soda. Reaction. 
Geyser. Oh, that was definitely a geyser. So by yeah, it was, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. okay. By stopping the air from leaving the test tube, we forced the pressure inside the test then inside the tube to build and build, which it definitely did. Now, once we removed the syringe, the air and solution forced its way out of the tube and released the built-up pressure like explosively. Since the only outlet is that tiny hole, which it definitely did not, it didn't like that. Um, <laughs> the force of the explosion is concentrated and the water shoots out of the hole, which it was way more concentrated, so it just shot the whole thing off. So, the steamboat geyser located in Yellowstone National Park, not far from the Old Faithful, is the tallest active geyser in the world. It can shoot water more than 380 feet, which is 116 meters, into wow. the air. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. Wow. I am covered from that. <laughs> yes. We, uh... And the floor. Mm -hmm, very wet. Okay, so... Yeah, I should have actually done it in this thing instead. That's okay. That was rather interesting. That... Yeah. I almost needed goggles for that one because I think it got, it got all over my face and everywhere. No, I forgot to put it on my goggles. And all over the camera. Yeah. <laughs> So that was it for our erupted um, geyser. It definitely <laughs> erupted. We did that twice. Okay, so. And we are. Same results both times. Finished with that oh. one. Bye. Well, the camera lens is covered. <laughs> no, GoPro. Okay, well, I'll, I'll fix that in a minute. Bye. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't, please subscribe. That will help my channel a lot. <laughs>